So if you've seen the title of the video, you're probably a little confused because I have made a video just like this before and I didn't realize that I didn't teach the full method of how to speed ramp properly. Somebody had commented on the video about how I didn't teach how to ease in and out of the speed ramp, which I didn't even know you can do in DaVinci, which I knew it was a possibility in like After Effects, but I didn't know you can do it in DaVinci. Quickly learned how to do it a while back and then I've been doing it this whole time and I have never made an updated video on how to speed ramp. So basically I'm going to be updating that video on how to actually speed ramp and I'm going to be teaching you how to ease it in and out without, you know, it just being a straight linear speed ramp. So I hope this video is better than the last one and teaches you a lot more. <laughs> so the clip I'm going to be using is a dunk from last season and it's Robert. So basically I'm going to have him run you know, slow-mo at him going up, speed ramp it back to normal speed, him dunking, and then him, you know, slowing down and kissing the ball. If you haven't watched the last speed ramping video, I'm just gonna give you a quick reminder. All you have to do is click Command R on the clip that you're using, and it brings up this little, you know, drop down arrow right here. You click that, add your speed point, find your other location, add a speed point, and then you can slow down in the middle right here. Say I wanna do 50, cause it's a 120 frames per clip, 120 frames per second clip and I can go down to 25 and it should be fine. That's not the exact point So I'm gonna adjust that real quick and then we'll get back into the video So I set my speed points where I want them to be so as you can tell he's about a dunk So I have it right here. I'm actually gonna drop that down to let's say we'll just do 25% for now Let's see how that looks and then he comes back to the dunk at normal speed. So as you can tell, it's kind of a harsh transition between you know the slow-mo and the full speed So let's play back one more time it's kind of, you know, it's very quick. So what we can do is actually click, I set a keybind to command E, but if you don't have a com uh, keybind for that, you can go click, right click on the clip, go up to retime curve and it brings up the curves. Go over to the curves, click on the dots. As you can tell, they're linear and that means there's no like easing into the curves. So what you can do is select whatever dot you want to ease in and out. Click the little, you know, dot with the curve right there. Click on the other dot do the same thing and then it gives you this little bezier or bezel arms whatever they're called and you can adjust how strong the ease in and out is so i usually do probably about like right there and it's just basically gonna make the uh, speed ramping a lot more fluid and not as like harsh as you know it would be if you didn't you know ease it in and out so as you can tell it was a lot smoother it wasn't as jumpy as it was before so now we can go over to this other speed point and this one's going to be 25 percent speed and as you can tell it's very, you know, harsh, the transition from, you know, full speed to slow. So what we can do is drop the, uh, click the arrow again, or the dot, not the arrow, and then just bring the little arms in, and then we play it back. It's just a lot smoother. It's a lot cleaner of a transition. In my opinion, some people like the harsh linear transition. Again, it's up to you, but if you want your, you know, speed ramps to be a lot smoother this is definitely the route to go all right i hope you enjoyed the video i actually have a couple more videos coming out right after this one just grinding it out so i'm gonna get this video out and then we're gonna have a crash zoom video coming out you know soon after this video is out and you can kind of merge these two effects together so look forward to that video subscribe if you haven't and then i'm gonna give you a little like my travel carry gear video i i whatever some whatever that video style is called i'll be giving you like what i carry when i travel that video is gonna obviously have to be done when i'm traveling because i can just show you what i have as i have it with me and i don't have any of my gear with me for the most part other than this camera to fit make this video but uh yeah hope y'all look forward to that as much as i do and i hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and i will catch y'all in the next video bye